So welcome back everyone, Mike here. It is Saturday morning, kind of an overcast and a really cool day. Uh, it feels more like fall than the middle of June, but we have some rain moving in here this afternoon. This morning we just had a few sprinkles, but it looks like uh, this afternoon and tonight, tomorrow could be kind of a washout, we'll see. I need it to quit raining for a little bit so I can uh, go to work on that pond spillway. Uh, I have some big problems down there. And the water level is just about down there where you could go to work and it's gonna rain again this afternoon. But anyway, I'm gonna head down to my sister's and do a little bit of mowing down there, mowing some tall grass. And I'm gonna be taking the Toro 6000 series down. This is another demo unit from uh, Fletcher's Outdoor Power Equipment in Delmont, PA. Uh, they brought out a walker and a Toro for me to try out. And the Toro is really comfortable, it's fast. But for some reason, and I can't even explain why, I've been drawn to the Walker more than the Toro. Don't know why, they're both really good mowers. Now I haven't used the Toro in the tall grass down at my sister's place. I'm gonna do that today. Uh, I did brush hog it last week because it, it got away from me. I mean, it was about this tall. Now it's probably about this tall. But you know, with a brush hog, all it's doing is knocking that stuff down. It's not mulching it up. So this will be a pretty good test for the Toro down there. But like I was saying, I'm just, the walker, I don't know what it is. It's not as comfortable as a Toro, it's not. The controls took me just a little bit of getting used to, maybe 10 minutes and I was onto it. I don't know if it's because the deck's out front. I, I just, I can't explain why I've been drawn to the walker. If you've been watching our videos for the last couple weeks, you see every time I'm out mowing, I've been on that walker uh, a lot more than the Toro. I'm, I don't know why, but it just is. But let me show you these two mowers and then we'll head down there and uh, get started in the tall grass. All right, so furthest from you, the yellow mower is the Walker. That's the one I've been running quite a bit lately. Today, I'm gonna to be running the uh, Toro 6000 series. Has the MyRide suspension, very comfortable. It's got a uh, 31 horsepower Kawasaki and a 60 inch deck. The Walker has a 64 inch deck and a big difference between these two is the Walker is a rear discharge, Toro is a side discharge. Now, when I first heard rear discharge, I'm thinking it's just gonna leave a big, you know, pile of clippings behind the mower, but it really mulches it up well. I used that down at my sister's oh, a month or so ago, and uh, the grass was really tall, and I had to hit some of it twice, which I don't know of any mower that you wouldn't have had to do that with but uh, there was nothing left. Uh, that deck on the walker really does mulch it up, doesn't leave you know, a, a big mess behind you at all. And maybe that's one of the reasons I like the walker, I don't know, because I have always uh, liked the side discharge and I like to mow one direction. And we, you know, we have so many trees and there's so much debris always falling in the grass, I like to blow everything out of the lawn and that's why I always like the side discharge. But the walker, once you hit it with it, there's nothing left anyway, so I don't know. But anyway, we're going to head down there and uh, get started before the rains come. All right, this is the first field that I'm going to mow. This is the one that I hit last week with the uh, brush hog. It's still pretty high right now. I'd like to try to go just back and forth, but if the uh, cuttings, you know, the clippings get too thick, I may just uh, blow everything to the outside. We'll see. All right, I'm going to fire up the uh, Toro 6000 series. And see how it does. I know that suspension will be really nice. This is a very bumpy field.
looks pretty good. I didn't have to go over uh, any of that twice, but it definitely wasn't high as it was uh, last time when I mowed it with the walker. Now we're going to go to another little section of field that's really high. I have a feeling I'll have to hit it twice uh, with the Toro. We'll see. All right, this little section here is uh, really tall, really thick. I imagine I'll be hitting it twice, uh, but we'll see how the Toro does. Can you hear these cicadas? I think they're actually starting to uh, die off a little bit, but boy, they're they're being loud today. They really are. So I like wearing these almost all the time now. So the uh, Toro Z-Master 6000, it did really well in the uh, tall stuff. It left a few stragglers. I hit it a second time real fast, but it came out really nice. The side discharge even, it, it actually uh, mulched everything up really well. There's not a bunch of clippings laying around. The big field that I just did, there is, and I think it's because I uh, just brush hogged it last night and all it was doing was kind of blowing that stuff around a little bit. But right here, it looks really good. Uh, that grass was over a foot tall. When I say grass, more like weeds was uh, well over a foot tall I'd say 90% of it never bogged down once anything like that I did slow down a little bit you know the first cut but did really well we'll head up to the house now kind of close this video out and Melissa just called and said Hunter is standing in the parking lot with his Burger King gift card waiting for me so I better get going So Hunter's been patiently waiting to go to Burger King. You ready to go? Hunter has been waiting patiently to go to Burger King. 
and no one is around or I'm here but just have other things I'm doing and uh, he just sits and waits so thanks uh, for sending the gift cards and now he gets to go Mike just got back he is ready to go mm. all right we're at Burger King I saved the uh, picture from last time so let's see what Hunter chooses today you ready Hunter hey Hunter what are you gonna pick Show me again. Crispy chicken parmesan. Once again, that's four times in a row, Hunter. Want anything else? With the mozzarella sticks. All right, Hunter's got his crispy chicken parm and mozzarella sticks. All's good. So when Hunter and I got back from Burger King, we had some family come over and we uh, visited with them and then it got dark last night and it rained a whole bunch last night as well. I'm not sure how much, but it seems as though it's pretty wet out there. I haven't uh, ventured too far from the house yet this morning, but here we are now. It is Sunday morning, Father's Day. So happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there, the grandfathers, great-grandfathers, and the great-great-grandfathers. Uh, this afternoon, we're going to have some more family come over and just kind of hang out and enjoy the day. But anyway, back to the Toro 6000 that I used yesterday down at my sister's place. It's fast, it's comfortable, it cuts nice. Between it and the walker, I mean, the, uh, the comfort advantage goes to the Toro with the MyRide suspension, it does. It's just more comfortable. Uh, quality of cut, you know, one's a side discharge, the other's a rear discharge. I kind of like how the walker cuts and I like how the uh, deck is out in front of the walker. I think between the two of them, it's just, personal preference really you know do you want a side discharge uh, do you want that rear discharge the walker does have I think a slight advantage on hills over the Toro but both of them are pretty good I'm kind of fond of the walker though as you can tell in the last couple weeks I've been using it more I, like I said I can't put my finger on why it's not as comfortable as the Toro but I like the controls and I like the deck out front oh and uh, I think that's about it on the Toro but I want to show you a couple clips from the uh, Rio link camera that we have up in the orchard right now this one I think was from yesterday uh, just a couple doe walking around and then we had another clip from this morning those fawns they're always screwing around with one another one will just take off I, I watched a clip the other day one's like running underneath the mom underneath another fawn and uh, they're kind of all over the place but I really like this camera it's uh it's kind of neat just to be able to you know be over the house or no matter where you're at as long as there's cell service you can kind of see what's going on up there but anyway like I always say uh, if you enjoy these videos please hit the like button click subscribe and share them with your friends thanks <laughs>